What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, a.k.a. Solomon Grundy, the seventh sovereign. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here. Linkin Park's latest album called A Thousand Sons. First of all, before I get into this review, I would just want to say that Y'all know I love the limited editions of shit that I collect, you know, shit that comes out, whether it be video games, music, or comic books and stuff. So I always go for limited editions because I'm a collector of sorts. And I went to Best Buy, picked this up, and it came in a big box because this shirt was in the box. Linkin Park, Thousand Sons, to promote the album and shit. I think this shirt's pretty cool, but... My problem was, or is, that <clears throat> I saw that there was a version sitting on the shelf that was a CD and DVD. So I'm assuming, you know, it's, I guess it's partially my fault because I assumed this, but I was assuming because I saw the giant box that I was going to get the CD, the DVD, and the shirt. But, of course, I've, I got gypped. They only give you the CD and the fucking shirt, so I feel kind of uh, gypped and pissed off, but let me get into the album, y'all know who Linkin Park is already, uh, they're one of the biggest fucking plans, on, uh, plans, biggest fucking bands on the planet, and um, <clears throat> I, I've been a big fan of them since the beginning of the decade 2000 when they when they came out with their uh my mainstream album called um hybrid theory and um i love that album that album took the world by storm they continued on with their success they put out a, another album called meteora then after that 2007 they put out minutes to midnight which was a eh, it was a eh album. And fast forward to now, 2010, we got this shit. A Thousand Sons. And um, before I get into that, they've been around since 1996. Just a small incarnation of the band. They were known as Zero back in the day. And they put out like a four song demo or whatnot. Then they changed their name to Hybrid Theory. Just Hybrid Theory, straight up by itself. They put out my favorite album by them, Hybrid Theory EP. And then when they got signed, they changed their name to Linkin Park. But um, let me get into this shit. In a nutshell, let me just say it. This album sucks. I don't like it. It's not reminiscent of Hybrid Theory or Meteora, the... the the sound that captivated fans, that took fans and, and, and just, you went on the, you got to experience Linkin Park for who they were, the shit that they were writing, that the lyrics are very, you know, they're introspective yet simple, you know, so a lot of people could relate to what they were talking about, you know, it's, it's always about inner turmoil and emotion and stuff like that. Look at songs like crawling uh you know just just go look up their singles on youtube crawling um one step closer in the end please tell me that you don't feel like uh one step closer sometimes you know shut up when i'm talking to you that shit is fucking ridiculous to this day i still listen to hybrid theory i love that fucking album but like i said hybrid theory ep that is my shit right there. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm about to compare it to this shit. Uh, for the most part. Let me, let me just define the whole album. This album. Reminds me of something that Trent Reznor. Or Nine Inch Nails would do. You know. And no disrespect to Trent Reznor. Or Nine Inch Nails. I, I, I like what Nine Inch Nails does. But that's Nine Inch Nails. You're fucking Linkin Park. You've already got a sound attached to your name. 
What else? Uh, for the most part, this ain't this ain't fucking Lincoln Park. Not to me, anyway. Not the Lincoln Park that I came to know and love. There's a song on here. What is it? Track eight, "Waiting for the End," where it's almost reggae-ish. Like the 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 vocals, you could they they sounded reggae-ish, you know. And um, you're not 311, and you're not fucking no doubt. So it's not gonna work for you guys. It, it just don't sound right. Uh, what else? Mike Shinoda, the MC of the group, and backup vocalist, I guess. Uh. Mike Shinoda's raps, ever since they got signed to Warner Brothers, they sort of got simplified. And that's the problem I've always had with Mike Shinoda. Even check out his side project, Fort Minor. The, his rhymes are very, very, very simple. And it pisses me off because I know that he's better than that. Like I said, listen to the Hybrid Theory EP. There's a song on there called And One. Where his verse, his verse shits on a lot of fucking MCs that come out today. Just that verse alone. But that verse alone, again, it, it shits on a lot of shit that he's putting out now. That was him back in like, what was that? When did the Hybrid Theory EP come out? 98, 99? Like his raps got too simplified for me, man. And, um... It annoys the shit out of me. There's a lot of um, interludes on here, which I don't have a problem with. In fact, to me, the interludes are better than the fucking music on the album. Uh, let me give you another example of a track. Track 9, Blackout. Has Chester Bennington, the, the vocalist, has him scream rapping, I guess? Uh, it, it just don't, it just didn't sound right. Track 10, Wretches and Kings. Um, I will give props to them for one reason on that track. They actually utilized their DJ, Joe Han, or Mr. Han, as some of you might know him. <clears throat> they actually utilized him at the end with the scratching, which you don't hear anymore. You know, he's a dope DJ, dope producer. Like, why can't why doesn't he scratch anymore you know that's what i missed or that's what i loved about hybrid theory and meteora you could actually hear his input as soon as minutes to midnight came out you can't hear him you couldn't hear him anymore and that sort of annoyed me you know um what else what else what else robot boy i mean <laughs> Just some of the names, like like Robot Boy, that turns me off. That turns me off. And the song itself, I mean, come on. The sound is the big thing with me on this album. Because the lyrics, for the most part, especially Chester's, you know, okay, I could get with the lyrics. But the sound is... God. The sound is, is gone. They totally switched their shit up, and it sucks. You know, Linkin Park was heavy, and they, they, uh, they had heavy riffs, even though they were, they're simple, they're very memorable. You know, they had heavy riffs. Uh, they mixed the, the transient and, um, not transient, ambient and, and electronica sounds. Mix those in, and that's what set them apart from every rap rock band that came out. And my rating of this album is a 1 out of 10. It really sucks. I wouldn't recommend it. Go check out the Hybrid Theory EP before you uh, listen to anything else in their catalog. And that's all I got to say. Linkin Park, I love you, but you fucking disappointed me, alright? So, that's it. 1 out of 10. This album sucks. It's a big fucking letdown. Everybody else, oh, and any of you fanboys come around cursing me, here's a fuck you in advance. Leave your love, leave your hate, most of all, subscribe. Peace.